Hanson took action on poverty and disease in Africa on American University's campus. Matt Coling has more on the story. Fans took their shoes off and walked barefoot across American University's campus with Hanson. Take the Walk is the band's action to make a difference in poverty and AIDS in Africa. One dollar is donated for each person that walks. Yeah, these, these walks are doing really valuable things. They're providing children with a legitimate uh, opportunity to live without uh, a virus that their uh, mother may have already had. I'm here on American University's campus with Hanson. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for taking your shoes off. Thanks for walking. We did get a beautiful day for a walk, I have to say. Fans travel decked out in Hanson pride, despite blistered feet to help the band make a difference. I've walked 22 miles, actually. I'm waiting in line to get a picture with them since I need an update for my profile pic on Facebook. So this would be a really good chance to get yeah, a new I photo. Agree. I'm still trying to figure out which one has the highest star value, so... Of course. Uh, as long as they keep doing it, I'm going to be a part of it, and whatever they take it to in the next level, I'm going to be there to take it. Our next stop is uh, Charlotte. Just guys, you know, live, live in Tulsa. Or friends, like they got 400 people on the Twitter. Like, hey, I'm sitting on the John. You know? <laughs> and it's like, what if that was? I'm taking the walk. Matt Colling reporting from Washington. The New York Yankees defeated the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim last night to win their 40th American League pennant and clinch a spot in the World Series. The Yankees will now focus on their next opponent, the Philadelphia Phillies. This will be the second time in which the Bronx Bombers and the Fighting Phils will meet in the Fall Classic and what fans are calling the Liberty Series. Game one of the best of seven series will take place on Wednesday night at the new Yankee Stadium. Game time is set for 7.57 p.m. The tough economy is hard on animals, too. People who can't afford their pets anymore are dropping them off at animal shelters, and not as many people are stopping, are stopping by to adopt. Caitlin Hilliard has more on the story. The bad economy is for the dogs and the cats. Less money in the bank means animal shelters are overloaded. Homeward Trails is a nonprofit that takes animals out of shelters and matches them up with new families. So we're exploring the possibility of adopting a dog. In Arlington, a meet and greet. People looking for dogs and even more dogs looking for people. With the tough economy, people losing their homes, losing their jobs, there's going to be uh, less opportunity for those people to take on a pet. Food, toys, vet bills. Pets can be expensive. Sue Bell is the director of Homeward Trails. She says adoptions are down this year. Additionally, our local shelters here in the D.C. area are seeing a much higher number of owner surrenders. Some animals, like Pandora here, end up at places like Homeward Trails. Others, surrendered by their owners to shelters, end up euthanized almost immediately. The sad result of all this is that a good number of really well-behaved, very adoptable animals are being dropped off at the shelters by their owners, and many as soon as those owners walk out of the doors. But for people looking for a new friend, full shelters means a lot of options. There are um, very well-adjusted dogs in shelter situations, so I think that opens up the possibilities for people who maybe wouldn't necessarily think about taking a dog from a shelter. And like anything, things can only get better one day at a time. We're just two people and we could make a difference for one dog. So it's kind of an emotional thing when you've got so many animals. So, but how else can we work on this? One dog at a time. If wagging tails are any indication, every dog will get his day. From Arlington, I'm Caitlin Hilliard. That's all the news we have for today. I'm Alexis Rodriguez. And I'm Zach Solomon. Have a fantastic day.